This is a quick video of how to install BLDC tool um, to program the VESC um, in Windows and OS 10 environment. Now um, I provide this service um, on my website. Um, Benjamin Veda has done everything for Ubuntu and that's how he um, has set it all out but that's the environment that he uses. Others aren't comfortable with using Ubuntu and that's why I've provided a um, service to have a different option. Um, what we're going to start off doing is simply going to web browser. Um, I'm using Safari, you can use Firefox or um, Chrome or Internet Explorer. And we're just going to go to vesc.net.au or .support um, and you can even do bldc-tool.com or .support as well. All of them will be redirected to the same site, which is vest.net.au. I've just made um, quite a few domains, so it's a bit easier for everyone. Um, and basically, the Google searching VESC or BLDC tool, we might have better luck um, finding what you're looking for. Um, this pop-up here won't always be here, but uh, this is just a little message about my hub motors and the time that I've been putting into it. Um, my goal is to get a thousand subscribers um, onto my YouTube channel um, because I want to create more videos and help more people. Um, and what I've been offering is if more people subscribe at 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away a free set of hub motors that's valued at $299. Um, or if we hit a thousand subscribers, then I'll give away another set. So that's two sets up for grab. Um, hopefully, um, a couple of you watching this video will have that opportunity. Uh, so, like my videos, uh, subscribe to them, view them, post them on Facebook. If you send me an email saying, look what I've done, post it on Facebook, post it on the forums. I've got a little uh, algorithm to actually choose who is going to receive the um, the winning um, hub motors. If you do that, then I have the opportunity to give you a couple of promoter scores. Um, I'm just going to, or you can click here to subscribe or click here to view this video, but we're just gonna exit right here. Now this is the first, um, the front page. You can share it on Facebook, tweet, email me, um, but we've got, information here about BLDC tool and what it does and the features of the VESC. These are just generic pulled from um, Benjamin Vetter's website. Um, but we also have a VESC tab here which tells us a little bit more about the VESC as well as gives you links to actually purchase them. Support for, um, I can actually provide you support. Um, paid a little bit of money um, for that just for my time. Um, or I can actually forward you through to other forum members and I will give that a uh, little bit of a profit to them as well. The resources tab will give you free support basically, just links to videos, uh, content, things like that, and then a contact page where you can send me an email, ask me any questions you want, um, request videos or uh, more content on my website. But you can click on the big icon, uh, my um, licensed BLDC tool um, icon, or you can click download now and it comes up with this nice little page. If you click on the download for Linux, it's going to take you to Benjamin Vetter's website, which is vetter.se and that is going to provide you instructions of how to do it on Ubuntu. Uh, I don't compile it for Ubuntu, it's so much easier to just follow uh, Benjamin's instructions. Then we got the opportunity for Windows and then for OS 10. I do tell you the latest version that's come out and I usually update that within a day of Benjamin Vetter updating BLDC tool. Um, and then a brief description of actually what's changed in this one. Um, this one isn't a big one, but for some it might be useful. Um, and then OS 10 is the same, obviously. Um, I've got another tab here, which is for old versions. So not all of you will want to update um, your firmware all the time. And I've got a list of Firmware, um, versions of BLDC tool that you can use there or firmware right here um, that 
is to download the latest firmware, old firmwares, um, depending on what you actually want to do. We're going to start off with doing the OS 10 version here. Um, comes up with this page asking you if you need a, um, a download a um, buy a VESC, um, and you click more information there, or if you need a support package, if you're struggling with anything, click here and I'll help you out. Or you can hit the resources page and get it all for free. We're going to skip that. And then we hit the download page. Um, now I'm right here, I'm telling you about the OS 10 mobile app that I'm developing um, for BLDC tool to program and data log um, the VESC on your phone which is quite cool. Uh, I spent quite a lot of time on this um, and there's a few things that are out of my reach so I've had to outsource um, to a few people and pay a few people. I've had to buy some hardware um, to try to get this working smoothly and it does cost money so um, I've just asked if uh, a couple of people could donate. I have had a couple of donations which has been great but you can start off on a basic level. It gives you three dollars but you can change that to one dollar if you want to um, intermediate five ten twenty I'm not going to ask more than twenty dollars from people if you want to you can stick an extra zero in there and give me two hundred but I doubt anyone's going to do that you can click download now I mean donate now and you'll still go through the download process once you've uh, finalized that download once again you have an old version um, so you can download the old version of um, BLDC tool, or you click download here. Um, email address, um, if you really aren't comfortable giving me an email address, make up a fake one. Um, it's not going to make a difference, but I really appreciate if you do put a correct email address. I'm going to use this not for spamming you, not for asking for money or to buy my products. And this is solely so I can send emails letting everyone know if there's an important update with BLDC tool. If I have had any problems with compiling it that I've discovered and I update people on how to fix it, then this is the way to go about it. Basically, I'm going to pop my email address here. Anyone can contact me from this email address. Okay, click enter. So my download's starting here takes me back to the home page. I'm going to double click on that DM, um, DMG image. Um, on some people's machines it might look a little bit different. It might actually have the logo there which will be pretty cool but um, you can grab that, drag it onto the applications um, page. If anyone wants to help me out and make a cool little background image um, which arrows to here and then another one for the firmware page that would be awesome um, the firmware folder here um, you need to put into your hard drive folder so if I open up a new window Macintosh hard drive um, I've got one here BLDC tool firmware but you just drag it into there you will have to put in your password like this, authenticate, put in your password, I'm going to click cancel because I don't need to, but if it's in there what will happen is if we actually open BLDC tool, for the first time you're going to have to side click, click open and then open. Resizing the window is quite simple. We just double click on that bar. Now go to the firmware tab, choose. It's going to give you a warning about updating firmware, but then we've got firmware right here. Now, because I've opened it up from the DMG image, it's going to pull it up from there. If you open it up from another page, and then you go firmware, choose. It's going to direct you straight to your Macintosh hard drive, which then I've got my firmware here or MC config um, alias there. 
this is the best way to do it because then it's easy if you're going to be updating your firmware all the time um, but otherwise it doesn't matter too much I'm going to turn my vest on and plug it in okay so this here is the new format for the uh, serial port uh, when you open up BLDC tool for the first time, it'll come up like this. So we're going to open up again. Resize comes up straight away with VESC. It detects that it's connected and it puts it right at the top of the list. So you don't have to worry about finding it um, or changing any information. It's already there and we just click connect. It's going to tell me it's limited because I don't have the updated firmware on there. Um, but if it's not on the list, click refresh. Or if you've plugged the VESC in after you've opened BLDC tool, click refresh and it will come up at the top of the list. For Windows, the process is exactly the same. Except we're going to download on the Windows page. So we're going to type in vest.net.au Download now It's a bit slower on this because it's a virtual machine But download Windows, I'm going to skip here And then click here for download now And there's my email address, anyone can send me an email. So I'm going to submit that, start the download process. I'm going to pause that because I don't need to. Get out of that. You're going to get a file that looks exactly like this. Um, just an installer. I'm going to double click on that. And I've spent a lot of time on this installer to make it a little bit, e little bit easier for people. It will move all the dependencies into the right place and the drivers will install automatically. So we're going to extract this. It's going to create a desktop item um, icon for you. So that's for ease of use. We're going to go next and then launch the LDC tool. Now I need to, because I'm using a virtual machine, actually connect the VESC to it. And then I can, you see here, it's just one COM port. If I refresh, it comes up with COM port 5 straight away because it knows that that's the VESC. I'm going to click connect, and it's again going to tell me it's the wrong version of firmware. If you want to know your version, uh, firmware right here tells you what's on there. So I've got 2.15, the latest one is 2.16. So I haven't got around to doing it just because I have to then reconfigure my desks and everything's working quite well right now. But thank you very much for watching. Um, I can in here go read configuration and uh, do everything that I need to do with the VESC. Um, but at the moment because the firmware is not updated I can't do anything. So if any of you are having problem um, with updating your configurations and it says connected limited down the bottom here then I suggest that you update your firmware or go back to my website and download an old version um, thank you very much for watching and um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll continue to make videos if anyone has any videos that you want me to make I'll be happy to do that as well um, and for now, um, thank you very much and goodbye.